Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and much more depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos. Today is Friday, the ninth day of February 2024. I bring you this update. It was not my intention to fight the civil war, but a response to the challenging political circumstances of the time. That's according to Gowan. Yes. Now, the former military head of state, General Yakubu Gawon has opened up as a reflex on Nigeria's civil war, emphasizing that it was never his wish or intention to fight in the civil war. Yes, he said the conflict he engaged in was not his intention. He said it was not intentional to engage in that conflict that consumed over 3 million lives of Igbos. Yes, in that genocide, the one said he never intended to kill anybody. He said he never had hated any tribe in his life. He said, I never hated any tribe. Look at what he said recently when he was uh, interviewed. The one clarified that decision to fight the civil war was not suited in hatred, but a response to the challenging political circumstances of the moment of that time of the generation. He says that the crucial choice was between maintaining Nigeria's unity or facing disintegration. According to him, during that period, his focus as head of state was on preserving the nation, expressing a deep commitment to the greatness of his own country. Nigeria. He asserted his belief in the country, Nigeria, and underscored the importance of keeping that country intact as one indivisible entity, like they would say. In his words, quote, it was not my wish or intention to fight civil war. It is not a hatred against any people. But the political situation at the time was such that it got to the point where it is either Nigeria remained one country or not. And as I always said during that time, if the question of breaking Nigeria is not part of our discussion, we will review everything in order to make sure that Nigeria survived and be a great country. I'm a great believer in Nigeria. End of quote. And now, this is his statement. He said, he wanted Nigeria to remain one country and be a great nation. So, well, I believe by now, Gowon must have you know, learned his lesson, but in a hard way. Yes, in a hard way. What is happening to his people since two decades now, suppose, have you know, given him an introspective thought? Yes, over 20, over 20 years now. His people has been suffering a great deal in the hands of the Fulani. Those that used him to subjugate and annihilate the Igbos. They said they are keeping Nigeria one. Where is the one Nigeria? Where is the Nigeria you have kept one after killing over 3 million persons to keep Nigeria one? What's the justification as we're speaking? What's the justification? The country or the said countries in Tatars, in Shambos. Yes, so even his own people, go on, his people, they have been slaughtered like chickens since 20 years now, still running. Oh yes, recently, just two weeks ago, the churches in Plateau State were burnt down, raised to ashes. Go on is a Christian. Oh yes, so the northern, north central states have seen way. They have seen hell while on earth. You know, the level of uh, destruction of lives and properties in that region is unquantifiable. Yes, as we are speaking, you cannot measure it or quantify it. The level of loss of lives and property there. Yes. So this is the one Nigeria he, 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 he fought to keep together. Yes, I think this is the dream of the country. Oh yes, the same people that sent him to keep Nigeria as one, they are today killing their people. Go once, kinsmen. 
He's not even saying anything about it. Yes, these people they are running for Heta Skeeter. The Fulani are coming from you know foreign countries to come and take their land from them. Oh yes, forcefully ejecting them to take over their land and occupy it, chasing them away with brute force. The Nigerian army covering them, the Fulani elites backing them up. They said they are fighting jihad. They don't want to hear anything from anybody. The only language they will hear is what? To continue to fight. And they will want to carry out that instruction given to them by Otman Danfodio. Yes, they said so. They said so. That's the Fulani. So that is it. He said the war was not intentional. Rather, he was determined to keep Nigeria as one indivisible entity. And so we have seen it. So he said he never hated Ndebo. But we are yet to see the the apology from him. This is not apology. That I never hated any tribe. I didn't go to that war because I wanted to go. It was a call for duty. Duty calls for keeping Nigeria one. Oh yes. That's the Europeans who are calling you to keep Nigeria one so that they will continue to benefit. What's the benefit for you now, as one Nigerian man? Those who want to exploit the natural resources of the country, they were calling you to keep the country as one. Yes, so that they will continue to enjoy. Because they know if you are the head, they know what they'll benefit. The Europeans have always been, af been afraid of the people of southeastern Nigeria, the, the, the Igbos. Because they know that that thing they knew, the Igbos also know it. That thing they knew, the Igbo know it. So they are always afraid because when they came, other tribes were bowing down in reverence to, for them. You know, the Igbos refused. The Igbos refused. They, never, they are not bowing to any, anybody. They only bow to their God, Chuko Kiabiyama. So they refused to bow and be in servitude to any human being, born of a woman. And so they felt that, oh, it will be easier for them to allow these people to govern, so that they will be governing by proxy. Yes, and they allow the Fulanis, because they know that they can control them anyhow they like. But the Igbos cannot control them. Not at all. Yes. So they don't bow to anybody. They don't grow veil either for anything. They are men and women of repute. Yes. So that is it. Go on said he never hated the Igbos. Rather, he went to that war to preserve the unity of Nigeria.